how to use uh, Google Classroom editing on the iPad. Sorry, my picture's not showing up like the last video. Haven't figured that one out yet. Still learning curve for all of us. Um, so first of all, I'm going to make sure when I go into um, Safari or Google on the internet, again, making sure that we are not signed into any other account. Um, again, that will kind of screw us up, so make sure your parents, your brothers, sisters, things like that are not signed in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'm going to open up my Google Classroom app, which is here. Okay, so I had already previously gone in and signed in as Mia. So again, Mia and Olivia, thank you very much. So I'm going to scroll down until I find um, science. So I'm going to open up my purple science. Now I can go ahead and go to classwork, which again is down at the bottom of the screen. I know I don't have a pointer, but you guys can see classwork all the way down at the bottom. I'm going to click on classwork and then I can click on the assignment. Chapter five, lesson two. And we, it's going to open up, okay? So now we can go ahead see this PDF um, located where I, um, I'm sorry, located in the middle of the screen here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the PDF, and that's going to open up. When that opens up, you're going to see that in the upper right-hand corner, there should be a pencil icon. Again, this is for an iPad. Um, I believe it will work on any, any other tablet as well. Um, but I can't guarantee that. I'm, I do know that, the, that this is how it works for an iPad. So once we hit that little pencil button, it will pop up. And we now have down at the bottom of the screen, we have edit tools. You can see that I'm switching to an eraser, to a pen, a marker, a highlighter, and I can write text, okay? Um, so if let's say, for example, I wanna put some text in, I can go ahead and hit the text button down here and I can add in a text box and I can say again this is just a test not so quick with the typing on the iPad keyboard okay so I hit return and that is there so we can see that that is just there as just as a test I could then go ahead and delete that by clicking oops sorry clicking the erase button and hitting that I can also use the undo button at the top of the screen. So if I hit undo, the text pops back up. I can use my pen. I can click on the pen. If I double click or click the pen twice, more options will come up. It allows me to change the pen size. Okay, um, that looks like a good pen size. I can change the color. I always like using red or purple or green so it distinguishes the difference between the um, the text on the textbook so I think purple looks good so again I can just draw around a picture I'm gonna draw around a smiley face okay um, again you can use anything you can use a stylus um, I'm using a stylus right now I can draw a little bit better um, pictures okay so again um, change that to a highlighter I can go to highlight and I can highlight information as you can see that I'm doing right now um, and then I can either hit the undo button or the erase button. It erases everything that I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make, again, make a little smiley face. Let's see, let's make a bigger marker or pen and draw a smiley face. There we go. So now when I'm done, what I want to do is I can tap the screen and I'm going to hit save. It looks like it's um, blacked out, but I'm going to hit the save anyways. Um, and it's going to pop up. It's going to start to save my work. I'm going to give that a second to do that. So again, while we're waiting for this to save, a lot of times, again, it's glitching out. So it takes a while. So it pops up and it looks like you haven't edited anything. All right, but now we can go ahead and close that. And when we click my work, it says edited at the very top. So once I, as you guys can see this tab down here at the bottom, you keep clicking, I can click up and down, swipe up. And that brings up my work down at the bottom of the screen. And this is the edited copy. So I can hit, click on that. And it's gonna show me the edited version that I already did. And if I wanted to continue to edit that, I hit the pencil. And we can continue to edit. 
Okay, so just gonna draw some squiggly lines. So again, you can see I hit the save, even though it looks like it's blacked out, it is there. So I'm gonna hit the save. going to take a while because Google Classroom is bogged down. I can go ahead and then close that. All right. And now it again it continues to edit the saved work. You can see that the new blue circle is there and I can then hit turn in and turn in. And once we've turned in, all right, it's all set, but I can then unsubmit so that Mia can do her own work. So I'm gonna unsubmit that. I'm actually gonna delete that edited version and she can go back and start all over. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, the important, I know a lot of you guys said you saved and it didn't show up, but it is, it's here. You have to go to my work, all right, to bring that up. Um, you can also from here add attachments. So if I wanna add attachments and I can pick a photo. And so any work that I did or on paper, if I take a picture of it, this is where I would then be able to add in my photos. So I'm gonna add in a photo of Baby Yoda instead. Um, and it should show up. Oops, sorry. I'm really messing up things now, sorry. All right. So by swiping down, I can refresh. And there's my attachment, okay. And it's just a picture of Baby Yoda. All right, I'm going to close that. And I will talk to you guys all soon. Hope that helped.